Investigating after a man was shot in Independence. The entire thing caught on camera. Chancellor Wynn joins us live with a closer look. Yeah, we are here live in Independence because officers inside of this building are searching for the suspect responsible for shooting that person in the stomach, sending them to the hospital. Now, police tell us they do have people of interest, but they're trying to isolate their investigation down to specifically who pulled the trigger. Now, those moments when those shots are fired were captured by a neighbor's ring doorbell camera. We are going to show you that video now, but I want to warn you, it may be disturbing to some viewers. The mom was the first one in line yelling, starting everything. How does a mom represent their family like that? That's what I want to know. How does a mom do that? If you love your kids, how could you bring them to a place like that knowing they're going to end their life? Shortly before 6 p.m. on Friday, Kenton County and Independence Police officers responded to Archer Court after a person was shot. Mike Grout tells us it happened in his driveway. He says the people seen in this video walking towards his home is his daughter's ex-boyfriend and his family. There's nothing good that's ever going to come from this for anybody. Nothing. There is no justice that'll be served. That poor kid came here because his mom amped him up and then other sisters got him all hyped up and he comes here and he does something stupid. That's what just happened. Grout says he heard two gunshots. When the first one went off, I looked out and two people had guns in the air. So I didn't know who did what. And then when the gun came down, he shot the kid right in the stomach. He tells us the person shot was his daughter's friend's boyfriend. The victim was taken to the hospital by helicopter, but according to Grout, this isn't the first time he has had a run-in with his daughter's ex and his family. Grout says his daughter previously had a protection order against her ex-boyfriend. They said that if we had any issues, we could come back and get it extended. So we went down there to try to get it extended and actually had really, really good proof of the stuff that was going on. And they just didn't see it as a priority. Now, at this point, we do not know too much, too many details about the victim here, but a neighbor tells us they believe that the victim is around 20 years old and they were taken by helicopter to the hospital. Right now, their status is unknown. But of course, as soon as we get an update, we will let you know. Reporting live in Independence, Chancellor Wynn, Fox 19 Now. Chance, thank. This is breaking right now. A heavy police presence going on right now in Erlanger. Our Simone Jameson joins us live. Simone, what can you tell us? Yeah, Trisha, Rob, you can actually see behind me. It's a very active scene here in the 3200 block of Riggs Avenue in Independence. So here's what we're just learning from officers. They tell us they took a juvenile suspect into custody that they believe was connected to a shooting Independence. In fact, the one that Chancellor Wynn just reported on, you just heard from him moments ago. Now, officers tell us that they're now doing some scene processing and evidence gathering, but that they were called to a home here on Riggs Avenue around 838 asking to do a check in. And when they got to that home, they came face to face with that suspect they believe was connected to that shooting from earlier. So they tell us that they'll be wrapping up this scene activity of probably within the next 20, 30 minutes or so it could be a little bit longer. But of course, we'll um, we'll stick around and see what other information we can gather for you here tonight. But for now, live reporting from Erlanger, Simone Jameson, Fox 19 Now.